Hi everyone. I am going to try and make this fast. Like I keep saying, all my videos have been 10 minutes. So I'm going to try and make it be five minutes. Um, but I'm keep getting uh, the same questions on how do I keep track of which customer purchased what? Um, how do I know who's paid for their stuff? Um, so I want to show you um, how I keep track of it. And with everything that I show you and teach you, this is what works for me. And everyone has to get their own niche and their own uh, system that works for them. Um, but if I can offer you what I do, and then you can use that and do what you want with it, um, that would be great. Uh, what I do is I have um, three folders. Uh, I have a group sales folder. And if you look inside of that, um, let me do it this way. I like this view. Um, I create folders with customers names on it and I save their um, items, pictures of their items in there. Um, just like that. As they comment sold, uh, I save it right to their name. Uh, I post new jewelry that comes out every single night um, in my group and I also post my in stock stuff. I just pick random things to post every day. And as people comment sold, I save them as soon as I can, um, definitely daily, um, but pretty much as soon as they comment on it. Because if you don't and you let it build up too much, you'll get overwhelmed and confused. So the sooner you can save what someone comments sold on um, to a folder for that customer, the better off you'll be. Um, I can click here and then I have a, a better view. Um, if I have this stuff in stock, the sooner I can pull it out of stock and put it into um, their cubby. There's uh, the system that I keep for myself. So let me go over here to Sandra since that's the person I had opened. Um, I got this thing. Uh, it's a letter sorter from a thrift store for 12 bucks. I covered it with contact paper. Um, and these are ring boxes that rings used to come in and I hot glued three of them together and I made little little shelf things but you don't have you can do whatever works for you um, but as soon as uh, their stuff comes in if I have to order the stuff I stick it in here this particular customer shops every day pretty much from me and a lot of the stuff I don't have yet it's new stuff so I let her invoice build up a little bit and I just keep adding stuff and she pays me probably every week um, for things and then I ship all her stuff out after a little bit um, and so that's how I keep track of where all their stuff is but as soon as you uh, know if you have their item in stock pull it and put it with their with their stuff all in one spot um, so back to the computer uh, if I have that all in here then when I message the customer before I send them an invoice with PayPal, I can send them a copy of all the pictures I have saved in their folder and tell them, um, this is what I have for you. Please let me know if it looks right, if I'm missing anything, or if there's something in here that you did not pick out. Um, and then they'll tell me yes or no, um, and then I know what, how many pieces to send them an invoice for. So as soon as they pay their invoice, and I'm thinking, well, I'll show you how I do it. Um, let me open up. This is not going to be a short video. I thought I would make a short video, but I'm not. Um, let's open up PayPal. My computer's kind of slow, so I'm sorry about that. See, I can blame my slow computer on my long video. It's not me. It's my computer. All right, so I'm going to log into my PayPal, which probably has zero in it right now. I just used it to place an order okay so I always go to my activity tab and then you go down here to all transactions and this helps you a lot there's a lot you can look at through here um, this is how I will send people reminders let me show you that who have not paid their invoice so people who have invoices that haven't paid them, well, right now there's just two. So I'm going to send these people a reminder. I'll just send one. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that because <laughs> my computer wants to mess up on me. All right, let's 
see if we can get it working. All right, let me try and do that. Well, that's where you would send a reminder. Hmm, why is PayPal doing this to me in the middle of a video? Go back to activity. And all transactions. So I won't do that again, but you saw where you would hit unpaid, then you can hit reminder. But I'm gonna go to ready to ship because I've had some people pay me and I haven't moved their um, folders over yet. And let's see. Linda paid me and I don't believe I've moved her stuff over so Linda right now is in my group sales album that means she has not been hopefully nope I've already moved her over no I haven't okay there she is Linda de Jesus um, once someone pays me on PayPal I take their whole folder and I slide them into, let me move that again. I slide them into paid waiting to ship. So now there's all my people in there that have paid me, but their um, items are still on their way to me because I have to ship it to them, but I don't have all their stuff yet. So um, that's how I know who's paid me and who hasn't paid me. I just constantly go use these three things those two folders and my PayPal and I just shift over my folders um, down here once I've shipped someone something I don't delete their folder because I want to make sure that they've gotten their package I, I want to make sure if they say oh I'm I'm missing something or whatever that I have their folder and I know what they're supposed to have and so I just slide their folder into the pay uh, the shipped um, thing and once the month's over then I will let me move this over I will move that um, November shipped into shipped items and then I'll create a December shipped um, folder it seems like a lot but it's all about being organized and if you can get a system down for yourself then you're good um, this paid hold shipment that's where um, if I have a customer like the one I showed you who keeps accumulating a lot of stuff, um, I don't let it sit where they don't pay. They'll pay an invoice, but they don't want me to ship it yet because I charge a flat rate of $5 to ship and they don't necessarily need their stuff right away. So they want to still shop some more. So they pay me and then I don't charge them additional shipping when they add more items. I just slide their thing in here knowing that I'm holding it for a while and then I'm going to ship it. Um, and that's something I offer to customers that are regular customers that buy a ton from me. I don't mind um, paying extra for their shipping if they're going to buy a ton like that. Um, and I'm just going to open up this so you can see. There's my October shipped and I just started doing it by month. Before that I was just having one big shipped uh, folder. Um, okay, so let me see if there's anything else I can show you with PayPal. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That activity tab is really helpful um, to use. Just ready to ship, you know that they've already paid. Um, and then unpaid, that's where you know you can send your reminders. So that's pretty much it and how I keep track of, of who owes me what. Um, when you message someone, you have all their stuff in the folder. I think I touched on that. So guess what? This video is nine minutes and 30 seconds and not 10 minutes. So, haha. -ha. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.